Yeah, just passing by the Parramatta Park uh, High School. Quite a nice old building, that. So they've got the classes in at the moment. It's not school holidays yet. But uh, that would be, I don't know, circa 40s, maybe? 1940s, 1950s. Uh, yeah, I like the colour scheme. It's similar to across the road there with the, um, the big sporting pavilion showgrounds. The same type of uh, livery. And again, those wonderful uh, hills in the background. Got to have another half hour walk up to Spotless to um, to get my second set of drapes. Uh, got everything last time. The drapes are fantastic, they're good quality, even though they're about 95 bucks each, which I was sort of, I was hoping it would be on the special price for about 60 bucks, but it was around 95 because of the size of them. Uh, but it's good quality material. I own the place, so I think bugger it, you might as well spend some decent money on it. And that's in my local GP. I probably should go there too because it's it's literally only about a minute's walk from where I'm living compared to uh, the one in uh, near Central, which isn't as convenient. So I should uh, probably pop in and register with them, I guess. But uh, yeah, the thing about the drapes is I couldn't hang them yesterday because. I had everything except uh, hooks, so the, it appears as if that's the missing ingredient because I've got those little eyelets, I've got to slot the hooks around. Uh, I can't possibly attach it directly to the drapes, there's no way of doing it. So uh, being a total ignoramus when it comes to interior decorating uh, on a learning curve from zero, uh, I'm finding out how to actually do it. and. Um, that was the missing ingredient but uh you know it was a reasonably productive day yesterday and, and actually it's quite good shopping up this way so i might do this more often uh head up this way to to do a bit of the uh, major supermarket shopping because there's a big supermarket and uh it's probably only another 10 15 minutes walking each way compared to uh, to going to Central because the advantage of Central is you've got a lot of the big stores there as well like your Kmart's and uh, Target's and what have you in the one centre so that's an advantage but uh, this isn't too bad either but I think probably Spotless is one of the best places to get things like drapes so and it's not something I'm going to be doing every day anyway so the uh, specials finish tomorrow so I better get this the second set of drapes today uh, as I say, I was very happy with the quality of them. They seem to be quite, quite thick, quite heavy actually. That's why I got my big bag with me. And uh, so it's not bad value if you're getting something of quality, I think. And it's about a third off the normal price. Uh, at least a third off, I think. So it's a good thing to get it when it's on special. So that was, that was fortuitous. There's um, the gated community down there that I looked at renting in but missed out on a uh, bit more expensive to buy a place there be mid 200s for a two bedroom place there I would think uh, and it's a bit further from town so I'm very happy with what I picked up also got a clarification about the child care centre it wasn't monkey business at all it was right next to the, to the um, to my block of flats uh, they, they don't have an outdoor area that's actually a childcare centre and they've got a separate entrance down Draper Street, down another street close to the city. I just couldn't see that the sign wasn't for monkey business from a different a different uh, company that does childcare. They've been there since 2006 according to the council and there's got no restriction on, on uh, their operating hours which I find quite extraordinary. I thought every place would have some sort of restriction on operating hours but apparently they don't. Uh, so the only issue really now is about the sound level because it does peak from time to time with those kids screeching. I don't know how many decibels that is, but that's the, the gauge they use with their metering. So I'll put it to the guy and just say, look, happy, you know, they're, they're entitled to run their business, but it's just if they can somehow mitigate a bit of that excessive sound, uh, pretty hard to do with kids, I admit, but at least it's worth asking the question. I just don't know how they got it, got the okay to, to set up a child mining centre right next to a block of flats. It just seems a stupid place to put it. I would have thought it'd be better 
to put it in, in an industrial area rather than right next to a residential place. So, uh, you know, who knows? It could have been the folding under the counter. Who knows? Councils, you know what they're like. So, uh, got no proof, but <laughs> that sort of thing does happen at local government levels. So, uh, it could be just that they, uh, they're slack too. That's the other option. So anyway, I'll see, see what I can get a clarification first. If worst comes to worst and becomes an issue, well, got, the good thing about that is that they don't operate on the weekends. And being a child mining centre, they won't operate on, on school holidays as well. So, and it won't be an issue in, wet, in the wet uh, season because people will be indoors.